Are we really doing this cheesy intro? Yes, we are. Am I on my toes to make this work? Yes, I am. So, hey y'all, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. And for today's video, I'm gonna show you what's in my fridge and we're gonna do a little clean out, a little gisting, cause I've got some old stuff in here, it needs to get cleaned out. And I wanna show y'all what's in my fridge as a vegan chef. So, let's get into it. I don't know if we're gonna do the freezer today also. We'll see if we have enough time. And I don't know if we're gonna do the pantry today. We'll see if we have enough time. If not, we'll do the pantry on another day. But we're gonna tackle the fridge today. Real quick before we get into today's video, let's take a moment to appreciate this. What? I got a ring light. everything out of the door, check expiration dates, and figure out everything in the door. And then we'll go shelf by shelf. I think, I think that'll work well. Okay, so I need a Sharpie, I need stickers, because we need to be labeling shit, because uh, I make a lot of homemade stuff, and then they don't have expiration dates, so they need to get labeled. And a towel to clean things. might have to make more cleaner because we're like down at the bottom. We'll see. This is just vinegar and water and essential oils, so super easy real quick to make. Alright, let's stop wasting time and jump into it. Other things I'm going to take out, I'm going to set over here on my island. We'll go through and we'll wipe them down and all that. Okay. Feel how much lighter the door is with nothing in it? It's so light. Okay, so this was everything in my door, just in the door of my fridge. That's so much stuff. We need to go through, label what we want to keep, toss out what we don't. This is also a really good opportunity to consolidate anything that is in a large jar that only has a little bit in it. We can consolidate it down to a smaller jar so it's not taking up so much space in the fridge. I can't find a date on it! But they're olives. Do olives go bad? I don't know. I don't eat olives. And you find things like this. This is a tiny bottle of mustard, but my partner and I don't use mustard very much. This bottle expired a year ago. I 
I like this. Sriracha doesn't even really go bad very quickly, but their bottle, it's like indented onto their bottle. I don't know if you can see that, but like it's not printed. It's like etched into their bottle, their Best Buy date. Shit doesn't go bad for like another year, but still I appreciate it. One of my favorite condiment, not really condiment, one of my favorite types of pickles, pickled red onions, because we can put this on a Buddha bowl, on avocado toast, on your dinner, on curry, on anything, and it just like adds some sweetness, some saltiness, and some vinegariness, and it's so, so, so good. I always keep pickled red onions in my house. Now we're gonna try and put all of that back in the door, see, how less full it is. Although I know there is some stuff that are on shelves that needs to go on the door, but there hasn't been room, so hopefully there'll be room now. Let's do this. Now I think I'm gonna take everything off the first couple shelves and then we'll do the bottom few shelves. Yeah, let's do that. Again, same thing, I'm gonna go through everything that was on those shelves, throw out anything that doesn't belong or is old, label anything that needs to be labeled, and then wipe out the fridge, organize it. I have a lot of different kinds of miso. I don't know if miso goes bad. Yep, that definitely says that's bad. Okay. Cool. We're good. On at least two of the misos. Does this stuff go bad? I don't know. It's golden milk paste. I mean, it's just like seasonings and oil coconut oil. So I'm guessing it doesn't. I'm gonna keep it. Does anybody know what happens to probiotics when they expire? So I think these are expired, but these are not the probiotics I take every day. I take a different one that doesn't have to be refrigerated. These I use to make vegan cheese, to culture cheese. So like, they've been in the fridge. Are they... Do, is there just less activity? Like, I'm confused. Can someone let me know in the comments, like, what expired probiotics do or don't do? Like, I'm gonna keep it for now because these were expensive and I only use them occasionally. Yeah. Let me know. Let me wipe down the shelves in there and then we'll get to putting all this shit back in the fridge. See, this is easy. If you do this, like, every six months or so, it's easy. Easy. Peasy. We've lived in this apartment for about six months. Yes, yeah, so this is perfect timing. I realized that I could take the shelves all the way out, but they're not that messy, so I might only take them out to like brush them off. I don't really need to wash them in the sink because again, I don't get my fridge that dirty.
Oh, I think that whole drawer has to come out. We'll worry about that one in a minute. roughly the right height. I can't remember exactly what height it was at, which is probably a bad thing, but that's okay. Reorganize. Things can be of a different height as long as it works out, as long as it works well, right? hot peppers that I used to use to make sauces and curries and stuff like that. They're really old, so I know those can go straight in the garbage. Most of what's on this shelf is actually stuff that is for our meal prep this week and some more pickled things that wouldn't fit on the pickled shelf, which I don't think still fit on the pickled shelf. If you have stuff that's going bad, pickle it. Pickle it before it goes bad. That's all I'm saying. I'm definitely going to consolidate this little bit of pickled carrots. I know people don't like to have extra dishes, but I highly, highly, highly recommend as you use things up in your fridge, consolidate, consolidate them into smaller containers so they don't take up as much space. It will be, the extra dish will totally be worth it. It's like a huge thing in the culinary industry. Consolidate. And since both of these are pickled cabbage, I'm going to see if I can fit the rest of this into here. Woohoo, it fit. Yay. Now the question is, can I fit these two pickles in the door? That's my goal. Don't know if it's possible. After a little bit of rearranging, yes, you can fit both of them. I really don't like that this glass is just free. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Not one bit. And then this frame just feels so flimsy. The bottom of my fridge is definitely the messiest part because all the shit falls down there. Oh, 
Okay, so we don't have enough time to do the pantry today. That's okay. We'll do another video, what's in my pantry, because I've got to get to making dinner. But we have finished cleaning out my fridge. I didn't clean out my freezer on camera because it was already didn't have a lot of stuff and I kind of just like threw away a couple things, organized it a little bit. Um, but I'll show you my freezer also, like I said. It wasn't really messy, but okay, here we go. Here is what is in my vegan fridge. It seems kind of empty right now, but it's it's not. It just seems that way. On the top shelf, I have a little glass container to hold all of my medicines and herbal herbal blends that need to go in the fridge. We have our bread up here. There's a little bit of sourdough back there, and then the bread I made the other day. On this shelf, we have really easy to grab snack we've got some fruit cut up right here behind that i've got some misos that just live back there for whenever i want to make miso soup or cheese and lemons and limes cut up because i'm always always have lemon water in the morning and then one of our meals this week is a vermicelli noodle bowl so we're doing limes with that on the middle shelf we have some vanilla macadamia milk they didn't have any at the store that we went to this week, so we couldn't refill this one. And since this one's almost out, we just grabbed some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. We don't usually buy almond milk because almonds take a lot of water to grow, but it's all we could find. We've got some kombucha that we refill at the market each week. We've also got some chocolate oat milk. It is my partner's favorite. We love to just have a glass of chocolate oat milk back there. We've got some unsweetened macadamia milk. Uh, milkadamia so that we can make you know savory things with milk some orange juice and some acai juice I put these in our smoothies every day and my partner just likes to have a glass of orange juice whenever he feels like in the drawer we have like sandwich stuff so tomato I think this is 365 brand slices meatless slices and then we got some sliced cheese and some shredded cheese BioLife we love BioLife we've got a couple different types of tofu back here, tofu cutlets, and then we also have this fried tofu that we're going to use for our vermicelli noodle bowls, which actually I need to take that out because we need to start cooking. On the middle shelf is where I'm keeping the stuff that we have, that I have prepped for our meals for the week, and then I decided to move the seeds back there behind it instead of on the bottom shelf so we'd have more room for all the pickled stuff. The shredded carrots and the sauce up here is for our vermicelli bowls. We have just some refried beans here so my boyfriend can have bean toast because he really likes to have refried beans on toast as like a snack any time of day and it's pretty healthy so made some refried beans and then oh, this we're having mafe. Mafe? Mafe? I don't know exactly how to say it. It's a South African peanut sp soup that's spicy and so 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 freaking good. And then back behind it, we have leftover rice. This was leftover rice from when I made the mafe last night because I made a big pot and then we split it, saved the other half for tomorrow night. This was leftover rice from work that I've been using to make fried rice and rice dishes for lunch. Okay, and then we go down here to our vegetable drawer. In each of these, I'll show you on the counter because I actually do need some of these herbs. In here we've got some parsley for the moffet, some cilantro for the noodle bowls, and then in here we've got mint for the noodle bowls, and scallions for the noodle bowls, and I can also use these herbs for stir fries and fried rice and stuff like that for our lunches. Really like having fresh herbs, but it's really hard to keep them good. So wrapping them up like that can keep them good a little bit longer. And then I'm going to leave those out since I need most of them. And we also have these down there. They're for our noodle bowls. I also put them on our avocado toast for lunch today. And then we've just got a little bit of lettuce, which I think I'm actually going to move up to this drawer because my partner will totally miss that there is lettuce in the fridge. So that's why the tomato is up here so that he has all of his sandwich stuff in one place. That way he doesn't forget about any of it. And then, of course, the bread up there. And then the only other thing down in this drawer is this mixed pack of hot peppers that I got at the farmer's market a couple weeks ago. Most of them are still good. There, it looks like there might be one 
pepper that's bad. And this one right here is a ghost pepper and I don't know what to do with it. Like, I asked at work, cause obviously I work in a kitchen. I'm like, what do I do with this ghost pepper? And they're like, throw it away, trash it. You can't do anything with it, it's too hot. And I'm like, no, but I want to do something. So I've got to figure out what to do with that before it goes bad. And then down in the bottom drawer, I just have some lemon, some limes, and some ginger. I always keep this stuff on hand. I love to throw ginger in stir fries and sauces real quick. Obviously lemons for lemon water and limes I love to squeeze into my avocado toast and stuff like that. And then whenever I do have avocados, I usually keep them down there as well. Um, I've got one over here in this basket, but it's like still kind of hard. So I don't want to put it in the fridge until it's like a little closer to ripe. I do keep this basket over here with like potatoes and onions and stuff. I don't keep that stuff in my fridge. All right. And then in the door, I am out of butter, but usually I would have Miyoko's butter up there. And then we also have these little alcohol things. We got them at, I believe we got them at the anniversary party at my work. Um, it, it, we don't really drink, so we've had them for a long time. But butterscotch knobs, so freaking good. I found room in the door after moving the seeds over there to put a couple extra drinks that we had. We got this really cute little apple, um, apple juice that I'm gonna drink. We've got one Ramune left that I might have tonight with a noodle bowl. We've got a couple of peace teas. I haven't, we've had these for a while and I haven't drank them. I really, really like these on road trips and stuff like that. It's just the cans are so big and it has so much sugar that I have a hard time drinking them when I'm not like on a road trip or under the influence of things. Back here, I've got all of our, I've got our jelly couple uh, curry things, so green curry and red curry, golden milk paste, better than boyan, not chicken and vegetable, and then also I've got a thing of black garlic that we got at the farmer's market recently. On this shelf we have sauces, hot sauces, spreadables, sandwich stuff, all of that. And then on this shelf we've got pickled things and candied things, and again on the bottom shelf, pickled things and candied things. Very nice and clean now. And in my freezer, up on the top shelf, I just keep like the ice packs, stuff like that. Like drink, drink ice, that kind of stuff. You can close that. On this shelf, we just have frozen vegetables, frozen corn, frozen peas and edamame. We didn't really have any frozen vegetables and stuff before quarantine, but we grabbed some of them at the beginning of quarantine just in case, like just in case we like, you know, couldn't go to the store, or couldn't leave it for two weeks or whatever. So on the shelf, I've got frozen chickpeas and some frozen kidney beans because I had some extra, some frozen beets, frozen grapes because I can, cotton candy grapes because I can make a uh, cotton candy sorbet with it. Really, really yummy. Um, I use the frozen beets in our smoothies. The chickpeas I get from work, that's why they're in the freezer, so I can keep them longer and I can make cookie dough whenever I want. These will probably thaw like next week or the end of this week just for snacks and stuff. On the bottom, below that, we have just like processed boxed things. So I've got like a little plant-based burger here, a vegan egg, which is really cool to throw on fried rice and stir fries and stuff, and some nuggies. You gotta have nuggies. You just always gotta have nuggies around. And down here, I keep all of our frozen fruit that I throw into our smoothies every morning. And in the door up here, we have seeds. Flax seed, ground chia seed. This is ground flax seed. Um, we've got some saffron. Fancy little saffron and a little bit of chocolate. This is frozen peas and coffee. A couple frozen dessert things. And more coffee stuff on this bottom shelf. There's like a few different kinds of coffee down here. Um, decaf espresso, Hawaiian coffee. This is like a really, really fancy coffee and I forget what this is. I think this is just regular coffee. Oh, I think this is pour over coffee actually. Uh, I should label that because I use that for camping. 
The reason uh, we have our Hawaiian coffee and like other coffees down here is because they're for other makers. So like this coffee is beans and we will grind it up daily to make fresh French press coffee. But this coffee is already ground, so it's specifically for like, this is for a regular coffee maker, this is for a pour over, this is for espresso machine. I think this is regular coffee or pour over, I'll have to check, but. Thank you guys so much for watching today, cleaning my fridge out with me and you got to see what is in my fridge, my at home fridge as a vegan chef. It's not a whole lot right now, but that's okay. Lots of pantry things going on. All the vegetables I had got cooked into the soup. And I had a few vegetables for the noodle bowls. I just like to use fresh vegetables, so I'll only get as much as I need for the week. Obviously, that's how it should be done. And you got to see some of my fridge staples. Lots of pickled things, candied things, hot sauces. You know, you know the drill. Different seeds and things. Leave me a comment down below. What is your fridge staple? What do you always, always, always keep in your fridge? And I do have a new recipe coming y'all's way. I am, I just need one last thing and I don't have it so that I can make this new recipe. But I'll give y'all a hint. The recipe that I have planned to film next week for y'all uses this thing. Finally got one for home, so you just have to come back to my channel next week to see what that recipe is. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss one of my videos, a delicious recipe, or a lifestyle vlog. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I am running so late. I really need to get dinner cooking, so I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.